Hello everyone, this is Claudia again and uh, in the next part we're going to talk about abstract classes. Abstract classes in Scala are almost the same as in Java. Um, and what are they? Um, it means that I define some methods in the class and some uh, fields, but I don't implement them. And I let the classes that will you know, inherit from uh, to implement. You cannot instantiate an abstract class. So I'm, uh, the way to define it is to use the abstract uh, identifier, abstract class doc, and I'm defining some methods here. Uh, first I'm defining sing method which will return a string and then I'm going to define another method that takes an argument and say name me which will return the name based on some initials that are a string. Well, well, string, I think. Um, and then, as an example, I'm going to have a field called surname, which is also a string. So this is quite a basic abstract class, nothing fancy about it. And now I'm going to define a class called MallardDuck, which is going to extend this abstract class. So just like in Java, you use the uh, extends, and I'm extending the duck. And now I have to implement the uh, methods. Now there's one one difference here um, that you have to when you try to implement it. Um, You just write the name again. So, name initials. The first uh, method will return a sync. I can sync string. I'm making it super easy. And the same, the second method will return if the initials are. Notice here I made a mistake. I didn't know what was wrong with this. Why didn't autocomplete work sometimes when you forget to put that equal sign? You know, it doesn't uh, doesn't work because it cannot compile it. Uh, so I'm saying if the initials are equal to DK, then my name is um, Ducky. Otherwise, My name will be Missy. And of course, I need to give a value for that uh, surname. And I think this Mallard duck will have a surname. And the surname I'm thinking will be just the surname. I know that uh, sometimes it gives you this error, um, but that is just because um, IntelliJ sometimes doesn't see classes, but if you compile them it will be fine. And in time the error will go away, it's just something temporary I noticed. So you can see it doesn't complain, you can define both classes. and. I want to declare a new variable that will be a Mallard duck. So I'm saying val new duck is a Mallard duck. And I'm thinking that I probably need to overwrite the to string method so that I can see what I'm, I'm doing. I always like to overwrite this to string method. And that the string will say the duck plus surname. And now, if I uh, I run this, it already prints me uh, that message. 
and now I want to see all the other ones like I call the sync method and I'm gonna call uh, name me with some initials and if I run all this it will be perfectly done and you know this is kind of what I see as basic of the abstract class of course you can go wild on this and by wild I mean you can define in the abstract class a default constructor which will be the primary constructor and I can say uh, val can uh, can fly it's a boolean and you know that val will actually define underneath the hoods a new field and some getters and setters for it and if you try not to extend this one it will complain because your abstract class has this default constructor but your new class uh, uses still the constructor without any arguments so you have to declare those arguments and now your initial idea I mean my first initial idea was okay so I, I declared the same val can fly boolean extends duck and you run it again then you notice some errors right it says unspecified value parameter flag so whenever you're extending an abstract class that actually has parameters has default parameters for the default constructor yeah you have to pass it along it will be just like saying inside a, a normal constructor call super with this argument so you always have to call the super but, uh, on Scala it all happening in the first line of the code uh, I still get an error which I found it very disturbing because I didn't know why it's happening and apparently it works if you put the override in front of the val um, And in here, I'm taking some time to go and read on the internet <laughs> what is going on, right? Uh, okay, so I, I decided, okay, override will work, and my instantiation of the duck will have to have this, uh, uh, because I don't have the uh, initial constructor with no parameters, I have to put a true there or a false, depending, it's a boolean, right? But I'm still troubled by this override, because I don't know why it's happening, or uh, why, why, uh, so I have to put it there uh, because technically after I read a lot I found out that if you put again val there uh, it will try to redefine those getters and setters and everything so technically um, these getters and setters are not really abstract so in a way you have to override them um, I'm trying different things now. If I just uh, do an abstract class guy, and I'm trying to find out if, for example, when I'm Extending this, I can extend two classes, two abstract classes, and it appears that I count. So, the trick with abstract classes, you can only extend one class, and like in Java, you can kind of implement multiple interfaces, uh, but you cannot do extends twice. So, that was the last thing I wanted to try, but still, that override there bugs me. Uh, the override I don't like it there like why do I have to put it and I'm gonna pause it a bit and then I'm coming back to it after one day of thinking and the trick about this is actually not to put a val there so just like in Java you want to pass the parameter along you don't want to override it so if you don't put a val for the class that extends it then you don't have to put the override either and you can just pass it to the other constructor, to the other super constructor. So that works much better, you know? Because in a way, if you put override, you're thinking like, 
why do I have to define it anyway in a super class if I'm gonna override it? But this way you'll just gonna pass it along and I can just um, show it here. Can I fly? And this one actually should be true because I passed it along. And what I'm gonna try now is something uh, weird that you haven't seen before, and which is I'm gonna give it a default value. So in the abstract class, I'm gonna see if I can give this can fly a default value false. And let's see what happens. Uh, in Scala, you can give default values to any argument that you might define. And that means that if you don't call it with that argument, it will take the default value, kind of like in PHP. So I'm declaring an, uh, a new doc here. And I want to see if this uh, default value will still work. Um, So, I want to see if I'm overriding uh, the default. Of course, I didn't realize I'm using false down and false up. And then I'm thinking, oh, yeah, I, I did use that already. So, I'm trying the duck too. And I'm thinking, okay, but if I give a, uh, you know, default value, do I really need to? To pass in an argument there to the constructor and I'm testing this and surprise surprise no you can't <laughs> um, that is something maybe we're gonna talk about later on why can't you if you already have a default value for that one not pass the argument to the constructor maybe you do need to make a empty constructor after all uh, that was kind of it see you next time